What's happening, guys? Welcome back. So, another episode on the Mark 1 Golf. There are a couple of little bits that I have done already this week. Um, not major bits, but there are a couple of bits that I've done already. So, I'll show you what I've done, and then we'll jump on and get on with a few other bits. So, the first thing we did was we've painted the window wiper mechanism and all that and thrown that into the car. Heater we've thrown in as well. Underneath the car, I'm not putting it back on the ramp, I'll show you it in a bit. I've made brackets for the fuel pump, the fuel filter. We've sorted them out and we've gone through and sorted what braided fittings we need for those, which are on order. So I'm waiting for those to turn up. But what I want to move on to doing now, or what I started doing last night, was working out the battery cable route. Um, we're going to make a little bracket in here for the main fuse to sit on. And then I'm going to make a panel, a plywood panel here that we're going to carpet that will fix over this that the cables will come through. And then the battery will sit here and we're going to make a mount to hold the Odyssey battery in place as well. So I'm going to get the GoPro out and we'll make a start on that. What's it with this weather as well? About, what, eight days ago where I was in shorts and a t-shirt and it was beautiful. Now, you see me breath, coat on, it's absolutely freezing. Right, let's jump on with it. This little area then, I made that bracket I showed you a minute ago. I've gone round and drilled these holes out because this trim was held in with basically self tappers into the metal. So I've drilled these out and put nut certs in there, 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 and in that front one. And um, so I've got some nice proper bolts in there. Not that it's doing a lot, it's just a better way of fixing it. Um, what I've now wanted to do, I want to create a plywood panel because you can get these as hardboard for like from factory, but they're about 40 odd quid each and I'm not spending that. So I've just made paper template out of various bits of paper. Got it to fit the contours of the car. Quite nice, it's a bit floppy, we can't see it right. Got it to fit the contours, and I've just been and got a piece of plywood. So we're gonna trace the piece of plot that, well trace the that onto the piece of ply, cut it out, we'll put it in, and then we'll use a drill to drill new holes into the metalwork for it to clip on. And then when that's cut out, we'll drill holes in the plywood panel and we'll use these, which are eight mil, fir tree fixings which is what we use to fix all the ply panelling in the back of vans t5s caddies things like that I've used on the channel before they're a great little bit of kit i get asked about them quite a lot on those videos because people can't find them and i'll put a link in the description to these and what we're going to do with these is we'll drill the holes through the plywood we'll put these through the plywood first carpet over the top and then you won't see any fixings in the boot they just clip in the panels are removable they're not the best when you've removed them but you can remove the panel and then put it back on. So let's get this traced out, get this cut out, get the holes all drilled. I've only got three, well, I can only find three of these, so I've just ordered a hundred more. We've got some to get the panel roughly in place, and then we'll move on to whatever the next one is. There we go, paper template, now transferred into plywood, tidied it up with a little bit of sandpaper to try it in the car. So that is where it's gonna sit somewhere like that. And when this is all carpeted, that is carpeted, it'll all hide it and it'll be nice. And what we're gonna do then is we're gonna have two holes coming through to bring the power cable to the battery, so it's all nice and neat. I've also got this kill switch that we're gonna put up here somewhere so that we've got a kill switch in here to kill all the power. So that, uh, yeah, we can isolate it. 
and we're not going to go draining the battery if there is a drain on it because the car is going to end up sitting around for quite a while because it's not a daily driver. So now that's in, let's get this in the right place. We'll drill a few holes and then we can get it clipped into place and then work out what we're going to be doing with the battery and mounting the battery. There we go, panel is on, looking good. I've just used some removable Volkswagen clips because this is going to be on and off quite a few times whilst we do the next bit. So what we need to move on to next is working out how we're going to mount the battery in here. I've done a bit of looking on Instagram and I think there's a few American companies that make quite nice looking brackets for these. Um, so we're going to take inspiration from a few of those and make a bracket. So cue the montage. Right, here's what I've come up with then. Upstand, upstand on the front, upstand on the end, which will stop the battery moving about. The back comes up like that, and then you've got this little clamp piece that goes something like that. So that's what will clamp and hold the battery in place. We will put well two studs through the bottom of this, because this sits on where the bumper goes. So we can just drill two holes down through that, the studs will stick down, we can get underneath to put um, a nut on the end, and that'll be that. So now it's time to try and transfer this into stick. battery holder if you like really annoyed it's off center for some reason this back bit and my paper template i've just been on and measured all this out and for some reason it is five and off center which is absolutely infuriating but can't really do a lot about it now i'm running out of time i've just got to get all this done so i'll be remaking that that's why i've drawn i've kept the original template which is going to go around the back and i've drawn it out so it's actually in the center um but it's gonna to have to go in for now so we won't put this in the car, work out where it can go, drill through, we can weld the studs to the bottom of this. Then we can move on to the next bit. Who knows? Let's go and get it in the car and get the old drilled. Right, we've got that bracket made for the battery. I'm really not happy with it. It isn't, it's not turned out how I wanted it to. Um, I've not got a lot of metal left um, and I've made it out of one mil steel, which really isn't thick enough. It's a bit wobbly. 
So I've slightly changed the design as a temporary measure to get it in the car so it can continue because I really haven't got time to be redoing things. I'm going to order some thicker steel. I've got the templates and we'll remake that bracket when we've got the car together and done and set for this deadline that we've got. So what I want to do now, I'm going to carpet this wheel arch um, and this corner of the car. Um, then we can get that bracket all in, get the side panel all in, get it all, all the wiring connect up. Um, and then all we've got left to do then is an earth and pretty much... That is that corner dealt with. I've got this corner to deal with as well, but I'm waiting on a bracket to come for the washer bottle. Right, I think the camera died part way through that, but as you can see, we've made a little bit more progress. So, this I am not happy with, as I've said, the battery bracket, it's just a bit flimsy. I'm not uh, amazing, I'm, I'm just not totally happy with it. So, we're gonna get some thicker steel and we'll make that again um, to make it a bit better. This side panel here, we've got a kill switch here for the battery. Uh, this is the main power coming out of the other side of this switch to go to the battery, then take it off to down the bottom. Put the earth here, which has got to come off the other side. I'm going to put an earth point down behind it somewhere, but I've just not got around to that bit yet. I've carpeted the wheel arches, because as I said in an earlier video, I didn't want to leave them as just painted finish, because I don't really like the look of it. I think that being carpeted, this new boot floor being carpeted, is just going to look a little bit better. I'd like to do something with this, but it might be a little bit too difficult. So we've got both of those carpeted. And what I've used is... Mega Van Max four-way stretch black carpet. So this has got a lot of pull, a lot of give. You can get it into a lot of different shapes. We use it in the camper vans um, is where I've mainly used it before. Um, but we've managed to get the contours of the arch pretty well. It stretches, it goes in. We've got this. I've still got to sort out here for the bolts and things to get it back to metal so it's nice and solid. Um, and normally down here you have like a plastic trim, but I wanted to carpet it. I think we gonna have to carpet down there still, but I'm going to wait until the seat comes to be able to carpet the rest of it. And then as you can see, we've made the boot floor as well. So the plan with this is gonna be, um, we're gonna make another panel that will go in the bottom with an upstand that will be round to fit in there. There'll be another piece that'll be, wherever it is, there'll be another piece that'll be like a lip that will overhang. We'll have a, a removable panel that sits in the middle of the hole, uh, meaning that we can remove that. And then when we end up putting it on air ride, you'll have all the air ride display, all in the spare wheel well. Or at least that is the plan. So we've tried to forward think with that. I'm waiting for parts now and bits and pieces. So I can't do any of this because I'm waiting for the ends to turn up. So I've to order some more. Um, I can't carpet these panels to get them on because I'm waiting for the clips to turn up. I can't do anything else with the boot floor because I've made it oversized for when the back seat comes and we put the back seat in. We can then work out how deep that needs to be. And I can't do anything within here because I need to get some bendy ply. <sighs> so, can't really do any more with that area. And all this has got to come out anyway. These have got to come out for when we put the headliner in because the headliner comes down the back of here. So, that we're about at a point now where we can't really do much more with that. So that's about all we've got time for this week. I thought I'd just quickly show you what I mentioned at the start of the video. The fuel pump and fuel filter. So... We've made a bracket and put the fuel pump down here using a Bosch 044 
fuel pump. Thank you very much to Main Automotive for the fuel pump and the fuel filter. Um, yeah, we're running the fuel pump down here below the outlet of the fuel tank. Um, and we're running the filter up here. So it will come out the tank into the pump, along to the filter, out of the filter, and then down to the fuel lines that I dropped on the other day, which then go off up into the engine bay. And we've got to sort out and terminate and whatever up in the engine bay. But I really feel like I've not really achieved a lot this week. Again, I know I keep saying it, but the time just goes and nothing seems to get done. I think at the minute we're still on track for hitting the deadline that I've got. Um, next week should be a pretty big week. Trimmer's coming over to put the headliner in. Um, the car's supposed to be going off down to her friend's hose company, my cousin's hose company, so he can work out all the intercool hosing, coolant pipe work, and all of that lot in there. Parker says he's got some uh, handbrake cables that we should be able to get on the car as well to get them working. Yeah, progress. So, hope you've enjoyed that one then, guys. Until next time, enjoy.